Hi guys, it's Ben here and this is an unexpected Friday night video, an unexpected piece of news has broken this evening from the reliable Chris Williams about 20 minutes ago. Um, if you've not heard of Chris Williams, he's UEFA accredited, he's very reliable, um, I think throughout the summer he was pretty much bang on with all the transfer stuff, um, dismissed all the crap really, um, he, he doesn't say anything that you know he's not 100% sure is true, he's got good sources. Um, I mean the, the, the rumours surfaced earlier on, um, a few ITKs, we all, we all love to hate and hate to love the ITKs but they are what they are on Liverpool Twitter. They started to speculate around the fact that Naby Keita was joining Liverpool early. Um, this kind of led on from a few days ago. Uh, reports in Germany were suggesting that um, Leipzig were more open to the idea of receiving a fee from Liverpool and letting him go to Liverpool in January. And now Chris Williams has tweeted that he's got information from within Leipzig this evening that Naby Keita will become a Liverpool player on Sunday. <sighs> um, I mean, it makes perfect sense for us to get him in early now that we've lost Coutinho early. Um, uh, how do you how do you interpret this? I mean, it's 10 o'clock on a Friday night. I've, by the time I've uploaded this, there might even be more sort of um, intelligence on this from from. Uh, from more even even more reliable sources, you know your your your, your James Pierce's. I'm just kind of reading tweet deck right now to kind of uh, try and keep up with things. I mean everyone's kind of tweeting, um, but they seem to seem to think it is done. Um, all the sort of all the, all, all the normal sort of Liverpool Twitter heroes at, at Twitter they they seem to believe that it's done. So. I mean, we've got to take this at face value, I suppose, that Chris Williams is, is reliable. Um, also, that Ghanaian journalist from the summer, I think it, his name escapes me right now, but he was spot on pretty much all throughout the summer, and he is tweeting the, the red emoji. I mean, it looks like it's done. Um, wow, I mean, we, we've all been crying out for a replacement for Coutinho. We've all been furious. I mean, there have been meltdowns upon meltdowns. I didn't think we'd bring anyone in this summer. Uh, sorry, this January. Um, Lamar always seemed a long shot. R Mares, there were links, but never really strong ones. Um, but this looks like, I mean, we, we, we know we've got the player already, um, but this interest in bringing him in early looks pretty concrete. Um, you know, the, the, the usual Moses I reporters have all sort of said in the last few days that there's interest to bring him in. Um, mixed, mixed sort of reports on whether Leipzig's stance had changed because the talk was that they they were still not interested. He's their player. I think Ralph Ranick even came out and said something along the lines of, you know, he, the deal's done for the summer. What do you want us to do? Like, no amount of money is going to convince us otherwise. They, they've got their own objectives this season. They want to progress in the Europa League. They want to qualify for the uh, Champions League. Um, but it looks like something has been struck. I imagine. Uh, I think the fee touted was around the sort of twenty million mark, um, which. You know, is Naby Keita worth £20 million to Liverpool between now and, and the end of the season? Probably yes, because he could be the difference between us finishing inside and outside the top four. He could be the difference between us finishing the season with a trophy, you know, the FA Cup. Obviously, he can't compete in the Champions League, um, you know, and that is still the frustration. But look, Van Dijk in and Keita in and Coutinho out, would I have taken that before the window? I guess that's going to be the question that everyone's asking Liverpool fans. Um, the, obviously taking into account the fact we knew we were getting Cater in the summer anyway. Um, it, it's very 50-50. I mean, Coutinho is stardust and he would have been a huge factor, if not the biggest factor in us competing for the Champions League. But obviously Van Dijk in there in the defence does tighten us up at the back and you have still got the Salas, the Manes, the Firminos, uh, the Lana back in there. Uh, plenty of attacking creativity and talent going forward to trouble the big sides in Europe and you've got, and you've got Van Dijk in there to, you know, to be the leader at the back. So... You know, we're not as strong in Europe, but in the league, perhaps we are. Perhaps we are uh, more balanced now. Perhaps the midfield's going to have a bit more dynamism to it, a bit more pace, creativity, movement, as I refresh the timeline again to see if any more news is coming. Um, but Liverpool Twitter tonight, it looks like it looks like Nabucate is in for the, for the uh, rest of the season. Chris Williams has tweeted that that is going to happen by Sunday, so... Um, whether whether it's announced um, on Monday morning, I don't know. But wow, unexpected. Obviously, it's not a one hundred percent certain yet. I, you know, we'll have to wait and see. But it looks like Naby Keita is going to be a little player. Um, I guess leave a comment with your thoughts on the legitimacy of this news um, and your thoughts on it. Would you have taken Van Dijk and Keita in for Coutinho out in January if that was offered to you? You know, in end of December. Um, before Van Dijk was announced, um, I would say, um, um, 
honestly, it's a toss of coin because you knew Coutinho would have gone in the summer and you knew Keita would have come in in the summer and you would have thought we would have got Van Dijk or at least another elite centre-back. I guess I thought Van Dijk was heading to City, so perhaps I would have taken this. Um, maybe just leaning towards yes, I would have. Um, and that just leaves us with a few situations to address in the summer, of course. We've still got uh, the goal-giving situation to resolve. We've still got one or two players like... Um, going forward, you know, maybe Lamar will go in for him one other, maybe another centre forward because we're going to sell Sturridge at some point, I imagine, between now and the summer, whether it be this month or, or uh, in June, um, and probably a uh, another midfielder because Emre Chan's going to leave. But there's a lot happening and we're only in, on the 12th of January and God knows what else is going to happen. If Daniel Sturridge does leave, we might have another situation where more strikers are linked because Danny Ings... Uh, it's probably going to want some football. Dominic Solanke isn't quite ready as far as I'm concerned. So who knows what we've got left in the store for us. But the news tonight is that Naby Keita looks as though he's going to be joining Liverpool early. And that is fantastic news. That is news we all wanted as I refresh Twitter again. Nothing else could happen. But by the time I upload this, something else might have come out. So let's take this as it is. Leave a comment with your thoughts. Um, do you think this is true? And if you do believe it's true, what are your thoughts on it? Um, Navigator is a red. Just as I turned the camera off there, I've been in the living room, sat down, read my tweet deck, and James Pierce has just tweeted saying that uh, there's no progression at all between Liverpool and Leipzig. So, so there you go, there is the reliable source, um, or so-called reliable source, um, contradicting the thoughts of Chris Williams. So, um, who knows what the, what the actual situation is. Uh, I guess the next uh, 24 hours are going to give us a good indication as to what's actually happening. Um, so there you go, you've got James Pearce saying no, Chris Williams and a couple others saying yes. Who knows, I'm none the wiser. As I said, leave a comment with your thoughts. Let's hope we get him in in January, and I'll see you soon.